Hi folks, 118 Delphi documents were released last night and it's very interesting stuff. We have receipts for everything that they took from Rick Allen's home. I'm going to share all of that in this video. It's crazy to be given so much documents when we were starved for so long. I really wish they just had a better way of naming these documents and these files because it's very annoying to go through them. I had no patience. I ended up opening all documents four times before I just calmly went through them. And I still have to go over them again because it was late when I was doing it. But the two main things are the Rick Allen telling his family that he killed the girls, obviously. I assume that's going to be what everyone is talking about for the next few days. He confessed to his wife and to his mother. No wonder they gave him another tablet when he broke it because... He couldn't stop confessing into it. He has not made any phone calls since though. And his defence is saying he's psychotic. He's delusional. He's having a mental breakdown. He's not eating prison food. He, But he did, he did eat some of the documents that his attorneys gave him. He wet them down and stuffed them in his face. But we were all kind of expecting this to come out about the confessions and what his defence is saying about him. What was more interesting to me was the receipts from the evidence room from the items recovered from Alan's home. I was not expecting to see so many knives. And this really, for me, is the first time that the crime scene and Richard Allen are coming together. Like, yeah, I thought he was bridge guy, but up until now, when you look at him and you look at the crime scene, it didn't really fit based off what we knew. And it now looks like he has a bit of a thing for knives, and that changes a lot for me. But I'm still convinced that if Richard did this on his own, he must have done something before. This couldn't have come out of the blue on a Monday afternoon. There must be something in his past that we don't know about yet, surely. I don't want to link the document that the receipts are in because uh, alongside it, there's an unredacted version of the probable cause which has some young witnesses' names in it. That's Nick's fault again. It's his document. He should know this was going to go public. It's just sloppy. And now he's running the risk of some lunatic on the internet contacting these witnesses, impeaching them, chance that they mightn't testify at the trial. Which And they're all just so important when it comes to providing the jury with rock-solid proof that Rick Allen is bridge guy. But what I have done is I've put the whole thing in a separate document so I can share it and I'll put a pinned comment under this video. What I've tried to do also is I've separated it all out into a few simple categories just to make it easier for myself and yourself to visualise it. So I spent way longer than what I should have, to be honest, um, just going through this and separating it out. Starting with the knives, going straight into it, there were 16 knives and one miniature katana found. I don't know if they mean a miniature, like a letter opener, or just a, just a small katana. More kind of worrying than that is a Rapala fillet knife found in the garage. Uh, best defense knife, a thing called a uh, sabre knife was found. And I have some pictures here, just generic pictures. These are just from Google, so these weren't in the documents. But like, what's going on here? Is Rick cleaning out fish in his garage? Does he even fish? I wonder, is there a fishing rudder? And, and there's a lot of knives. Most of them have their sheets on them also. And when I was looking up the Sabre Bowie knife, people were on about it being a collector's item. A Japanese knife, some of them cost up to €5,000. But when you look at the picture then of these knives, it, it just looks like a killing knife. I get why people collect swords and katanas even, because they're kind of cool. But small knives like this, I don't know, that's just... That's a bit creepy. Like, what are you doing with these? What's the plan? What's the fantasy? There was 18 mobile phones taken from the house. This one I could kind of get over because I think many homes would have... Many homes with a few teenagers in them, you'll probably find this amount of phones. There's only one kid in Rick Allen's house, though, and it looks like he has kept every phone he's ever had. Multiple flip phones, Nokias, Motorola's, Samsung's, but... 18 is a lot, isn't it? I hope they found something on them. An otter box was on his Pixel XL phone, so that must be his current phone, maybe. 
there was a flash drive what Rick wrote on the back I'd like to know whether he wrote that or someone else wrote that three or four memory cards two hard drives and two laptops I think guns and bullets everything what you kind of expect we knew they found that gun there was um, a bullet that was found in a wooden keepsake box uh, between the dresser and his closet in the bedroom which I found interesting I wonder is there some sentimental value there what's the story with that they took a lot of clothes out of the house and again what you kind of expect anything that may resemble what bridge guy was wearing they took all his jeans hats coats there's a lot boots two pairs of boots in his car they took a cutting from the carpet in the back so there must be fibers at the crime scene hopefully that they can compare them to they also took a swab of the driver's seatbelt and the passenger which i'm not like what's the reason for that this is so long ago now i don't really understand that part And then in the last two slides, I have other. This was just things that I couldn't fit in. So a lot of random stuff like loads of phone chargers, laptop chargers, uh, empty boxes with documents from mobile phones found in them, a water bottle, an iPod, a sat-nav, a plastic bag containing multiple headbands. And I think that's it. Oh, there was a motorbike cover, a cover, a plastic cover for a motorbike. They took that. Bit odd. Not sure why. But go have a look at the document. I'll link it down below in the comment. And some big questions really is, do they have the murder weapon? Is that amongst all these knives that are there? Because you wouldn't think that someone who did a crime like this is going to keep the weapon. But he kept the gun. And they have a bullet, allegedly, that can be tracked to that gun. So maybe he did. And also, what sort of digital evidence is going to be there? Seems like they got a lot of stuff. If there is a social media connection, they should be able to find it. If there is a connection to the clients, they should be able to find it. There's been a lot of talk about the crime scene being staged and potential photographs taken. So if that was the case, is there anything in these hard drives? Can they find something, anything just to absolutely nail him let me know if there's anything that stands out to you or that i missed there good luck god bless i hope everyone has a nice day